Okay, so what we've done is we've removed the header code and the footer code from our index page and separated it out into separate files here. And then we include that code right back in using these functions. It's just a way of organizing our files and making these headers and footers reusable on new pages as we build them out. Now, we're not quite done yet because we need to have some best practices in play here. And what I mean by that is we just need to add some labels at the top of each of these files. This is considered a best practice. A good way to kind of get an idea of how best practices kind of are implemented is to look at other themes, especially the default themes that WordPress kind of ships with your uh, installation. So if we open up 2016 over here, or just any one of these other ones, there's 2014, you may have 2017, 2018, doesn't matter if you just open it up and you pull up their header file example, we'll double click that, you'll see at the top there's this PHP kind of comment section. This is a, basically just a PHP comment when you do the forward slash and asterisk after it and you close the comment with a asterisk, asterisk forward slash. So when you have this entire structure right here, it's just common. It's nothing that's going to be rendered on your page. This is just for other humans to kind of read and just for uh, best practices. So what I'm going to do is copy this code, all of this right here. I'm going to copy that from their header example and drop it right into our header file. So I'm going to create a new line over here and then just paste it right in. Okay, so this is the closing PHP tag. Here's its opening tag. And inside of here, we've just got some comments with some text on it. And what we're going to do is kind of change the names here to kind of be our own. So we'll change this to say custom theme. And we won't really have a sub package. We'll just remove that for now. And since just since which version number, we'll just say custom theme 1.0. Okay, so now that we have that, we've labeled this header saying, look, this template is for displaying the header. And we'll get rid of this detail for now. We'll just leave it simple like that. And I just want to show you this because it's a best practice and you should be doing this with all of your template files. So I'm going to leave this here, save this file, and we're going to look at their other files as well. So we've looked at their header example. Let's look at their index file. If you go to the top, here we go again. They're kind of labeling what this file is doing, what it's a part of in terms of which package. And we'll look at their footer file. And at the top, they've done it again right there. So let's copy this header code from ours, the slim down version of it, we'll copy all of that. I'll create a new line here just so that you can see it separated. So I'll copy all of that from our header file and I'm going to put it into our footer file, not theirs. So I'm going to go up here to the top. Make sure you know which files you're working with here. And we'll just change this one little text to say footer. So we'll save that. And then we'll look at their index file. And it's basically the same thing. So we, we have a sense for what the best practice is now. So I'll close out their index file and their footer file just so that you're not confused. So we're just working with our three files here. I'll close their folder. Okay, so we have an index file, a header file, and a footer file. Okay, so our header file has some text up there at the top. Our footer file has this text designated for the footer. And now we're just going to drop this in over here at the top of our index file as well. So you want to be doing this for, for all of your template files. Okay, so this is template for the index page. And we'll just leave this. So obviously you can kind of add more details as you build out a more serious theme, but for the kind of purpose of learning, we'll just leave it like this. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're kind of following best practices by adding some labels at the top of each of our files. While we're here, we'll do one more thing. We'll just kind of clean this up. I'm going to highlight all of these, these two divs here. So 
I'll highlight all of that and then press shift tab just so they're nested one level deep from these. Actually, we can go all the way because they're not technically being nested inside of those PHP tags. So just like that, this is on the same level as this div. This div is also on the same level. And then this little function is also on the same level. So all four of these structures, this structure, this structure, this structure, and then finally this, they're all against the left. They're aligned left. They're all on the same level. They're not really nesting with each other. It's only in here where it's nesting inside of this larger div and so on.